Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, Jimmy Does Germany. So today's video, we're actually visiting a mosque, a mosque that was built in a palace in Germany. It's a Schwetzingen palace, and this mosque here was actually the biggest mosque that was built at the time in Germany. So we're going to take a little look at that, and it looks really spectacular. So first, so this is the actual entrance, so what we're going to see now, uh, so the, the garden mosque, um, so there you go, all in English, the garden mosque. So let's check that we're allowed, so no dogs, no smoking, no food, no umbrellas. Okay, so if it's raining, no umbrellas. Okay, what I want to do is actually get over there. I've been pretty much spent the whole video, the last video, trying to find this place, trying to get into it. It was closed on the other side and I realised, after asking a very lovely lady, she said it's because of this corona situation, it's all a one-way... Uh, it's a one-way system with the walking and stuff, so the main gate was closed at the front, we had to now walk around the back. But what a fabulous place. Really. I think we're just going to walk in here. So if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button. We would really, really appreciate you joining us on this journey. We're making videos, German videos, about German culture, German traditions, and uh, yeah. Everything Germany, anything that's happening in Germany, we may even take you across the border when the whole situation's calmed down a little bit, because as you know, Germany is located in the center of Europe. So we can drive in any direction and pretty much go across a border. So, and there's some lovely places in France. We can, we can take a look at that next year. But here we go. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. So, you notice all of the colouring here. Okay. The colouring of the wall has all been painted to match the actual Schwetzingen Palace. Okay, the palace that we visited in the first part of the videos. So all the colouring here is to match. So this so, Vegan de Rosa Begisman de Dornen. translations up there. I think we will. We we'll walk around this left left side. Oh, I feel so cool under here. Really. I've been sweating. Today today is literally I think it's about 29 degrees. I'm really probably walked probably walked for a good hour or so around this place. Because it's so huge. Now what you see is interesting actually, let's talk about the way it's constructed here. These roofing tiles, it's, it's actually slate. So a friend of mine who's a, a DAC decker, a roofer, so DAC is a roofer, a decker is somebody that covers it, so DAC decker, he's a, he's, a, he's a DAC decker and I helped him actually put a lot of this on his own house. And it, it comes in just like these square rectangle sheets and you use a hammer and this little blade and you, you shape it up and then you lay it on the roof. And there's a, you can see how the sun it just shines off it. So you get this nice dark, dark, but this like shimmer, this light, yeah. So it's a really nice way of doing a roof, but it's, it's a little bit more expensive than modern techniques. Look at this place really beautiful now i'm not going to walk across this grass i know it seems pretty empty here but i know the moment i walk on that grass someone somebody's in shed hey <laughs> get off the grass so what do we have here so it's laid out in so this huge rectangle this whole garden area huge rectangle in these areas here it's really nice and cool so there must be an entrance also and then on the other side of this building was an entrance so this was what we could see from, from the other side oh wow so it looks like this place has been decorated See if we can take a peek. Hello. Hi. 
Da darf ich kurz gucken von hier? Ja. Wow. Das hier ist super. Wow, look at the way all of this is designed. That up there is actually glass. A small glass, glass window. Wow. And it looks like they yeah, must walk in hand painted. Beautiful session. And it feels really cool in here. It's nice, so nice. Wow. Vielen Dank. Okay. Cheers. That was a really nice surprise. I love that when you when you go into some of the palaces. I remember I went to visit a uh, palace in Poland, and it was actually on the news a few years ago as the, the palace was actually occupied by German forces in the Second World War. And underneath the palace, it's been rumored that the gold train is underneath that palace. And I went to visit it. It was in an area, I think, an area near Wrocław, uh, Wałbrzych. That's, I think that was the name of the town, Wałbrzych. So the castle was about 15 minutes from Wałbrzych, the actual village. And uh, that also had some spectacular hand-painted ceilings. It's just the same by many um, palaces that you go to. Now, I'd say Hampton Court had some really spectacular painted ceilings. So you can walk around and just stare at them for hours and hours. You just wonder, okay, how do people paint? I think, I think they actually lay down. They must lay down on their back to paint on the wall to get everything just so perfect. I wonder what this is. Cool. I could have really live here, not a problem. In this outer region. So I have to say that the prince at the time, so I think this was built in this, between the 1749 and 1770 or something like this. And the prince at the time has really done a spectacular job with the architects. It's actually creating and building this. I'm looking up at the building now. I can see through the window the ceiling. But I'm not sure if we can actually get up there. I'm very impressed with the, the way that um, this building manages to keep the temperature down so well. So I suppose all these curved ceilings allows then the hot air to lift up. And yeah, it must just circulate with the cold air. And then the cold air must just just pass all through here. But uh, there we go. There we go. Lucky, oh, lucky I stayed off the grass. If you see a sign like that, Betrieden verboten, verboten. Okay, that's telling you. Don't go there. Hello. So, and you can see all of the architecture here. The way it's all been carved. So what I have to do is put this on. One second. Okay, so here we go, it's the exit on the way out. Ah, but we may, may be able to get a sneak, sneaky preview of all of this. Hallo. Darf ich ein bisschen filmen? Bitte? Darf ich ein bisschen filmen? Ja. Oh, well. Let's take a look at this. That is spectacular. Maybe we can zoom in a little bit. So it looks like they have a different message on each. That's right. Oh well. Wow. 
So this is going to be the end of this video then. We are now at the end of this, uh, this journey. And what a spectacular building this is. Really, it's a really amazing building. So remember, such a beautiful mosque. In German. And it's nice to finish this journey with all of these messages that are dotted around. I'll try and put some translations up on the screen for you guys and ladies so you know the translation. Okay, vielen Dank. Dankeschön. Ciao. Oh well, so here we are. That is probably one of my favourite videos actually. What a fantastic location. What a beautiful location. So, oh, I'll just get this mask off. So there we go. That is the biggest mosque that was built in the 1700s in Germany in the grounds of a palace owned by a prince in the mid 1700s. So I'm going to keep walking around, So, but I'll, I'll call that as the end of this video and I'll keep walking around if I see something because that's the thing, as we go left and right or go over these little bridges and stuff, you know we're constantly finding other stuff constantly finding more videos uh, to make with over a over hundred different statues in this place um, some of them from, from the Greek times so knowing that this place was actually built firstly in the 1300s and then over the years it's been updated especially in the 1700s where we made the video where we can actually see the actual gardens of this place so, so check through those videos and uh, you're going to be able to see that they've designed like like English style type gardens here in the grounds but uh, I would highly recommend I'll give this this place is an easy 10 out of 10 as a day out. Easy. So I'm gonna come back here again with the family and have a really happy family day out. So, and even bring Edward, young Edward, star of the show, the Labradoodle that loves to be in the videos with us. But unfortunately, he's not here today. So, everybody. Thank you for joining on this wonderful video, this wonderful journey, shall I say. And uh, yeah, smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Love a thumbs up, drop a comment. Tell us what you thought about this place here. That would be much appreciated. So, okay people, take care and I'll speak to you again soon.